Conditional Tense Type 3 Part 2 Last time we talked about a conditional sentence in Type 3. Do you remember? We use past perfect tense for if clause. And, would have. Plus past participle, for main clause. For example, if I had come home earlier, I would not have missed the TV program. Inversion of subject and verb for emphasis. We can use had to replace if for emphasis. For example, had I come home earlier, I would not have missed the program. If I had bought Mark 6, I would have won the first prize. To emphasize, we can say, had I bought Mark 6, I would have won the first prize. In this example, we use had to replace if to emphasize bought Mark 6. Notice that it is for emphasis. So you must put had at the beginning of the sentence, not after the main clause. But for. We can use but for. To replace, had it not been for. For example. But for your help, we would not have finished the work in time. If we had not been for the traffic jam, we would have arrived on time. But for the traffic jam, we would have arrived on time. Notice that, but for, is followed by noun phrase or pronoun, before the main clause. For example, but for the rain. We should have had a pleasant journey. But for can also be put after the main clause. For example, I would have lost the way but for you. In the main clause, the verb is still the type 3 conditional tense. That is, would, plus have, plus past participle. Now do the exercise to test yourself. By, choose the best answer, in the following sentences. But for his help, I should have failed. But for the invention of atomic bombs, World War II might have lasted a long time. If it hadn't been for the invention of atomic bombs, World War II might have lasted a long time. If you had warned me, I might have made a fatal mistake. But that you had warned me, I might have made a fatal mistake. But for your help, we would have lost the game. Had you known the consequence, you might have changed your mind.